Woman Jekka, everyone. Um, for this experiment, we're going to make some edible igneous sedimentary and um, metamorphic rocks. For this experiment, you're going to need 50 grams of butter, one tablespoon of golden syrup, four Mars bars, three cups of rice bubbles, and a, a block of chocolate, about 200 grams. Um, can you guess what we're going to make? We're going to make Mars bar slice. So with this Mars bar slice, you will need the help of a parent because it does involve the stove. Also, um, remember that Mars bar slice is a sometimes food. It's not something that you eat every day and it's a bit of a treat. So this is kind of like a double whammy. You are going to do uh, something that's a treat for your lunchbox for your homeschooling as well as a bit of a science experiment. So I hope you enjoy it. Well, and Jekka, everyone, um, we've been doing a lot of work on understanding um, geology and rocks. And I thought today we could do a really cool little experiment about igneous rocks. And I know that you've been working on igneous rocks or all the three different types of rocks this week. Um, so the best way to classify rocks is how they're made. So we know now that there are three types of, of rocks, igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. Um, but we started all of this with um, learning about minerals um, last week. So we know now that minerals are like the building blocks of rocks and minerals make up rocks. So today we're going to talk about igneous. Now we know about magma and lava. And we know that magma is underneath the ground and lava is um, on top of the ground. So the way that we can, when we look at igneous rocks, uh, decide what type of or where it came from, whether it came from mag, uh, magma or lava, is we can look at the way that it has cooled. So there are two types of, um, of cooling processes and magma is underneath the ground and it's something that's cooled underneath the ground and we know that when magma cools it cools really slowly and really slowly means crystals. So there's lots of um, examples of slow cooling magma in our area and one of those is Mount Alexander and we've talked about that before and Mount Alexander is made of does anyone know granite so granite is one of those rocks that has cooled really slowly and we know that it's got the little sparkles on it and that it's got those quite large different colored um, crystals in it so we know that that is a, um, a magma cooling rock so that's one uh, of one of the ones that comes from uh, magma. When um, a volcano erupts, we know that the thing that comes out is lava. Um, and there's different um, cooling times for different types of, of, different types of rocks mean that the lava has cooled at different rates. So we know that, for example, um, if it cools more quickly on the surface, there's, sm there's really tiny or no crystals. Now this is basalt. Basalt is another name, oh, it's hard to see, but basalt's another name for bluestone. We know that there's lots of bluestone in our area over near Axdale um, because that came from the eruption of Mount Macedon thousands of years ago, maybe, millions, I don't know. Um, and it actually, the, we've, we know that it's there because it changed the, the way that the Campaspe River run so that the old Campaspe River is now filled with basalt or bluestone and the new Campaspe River is on this side. Another real, and so that's a slower cooling one. No, sorry, a quick cooling one. <laughs> um, we also know, and I know that there's lots of um, Minecraft people here. So we also know about obsidian. Now obsidian is like volcanic glass. And we have talked about this before. And I'm really sad that I'm not bringing this in to show you because I said, but now we're remote learning and so obsidian is where it's really quick cooling because there's no crystals in that at all zero crystals it is if i put it up to the light i can see through it and it's volcanic glass another really quick cooling um one is um pumice 
Now pumice is a really light rock, so light that it floats on water. So this guy has cooled really quickly. You can see that it's got lots of holes in it. And it's something that some people buy to um, take dead skin off their bodies. Um, and it's really cool. It's very light. So you can see that I'm throwing it. And another uh, more slowly cooling <laughs> than pumice is... Um, like scoria. So scoria again, this is one of those rocks that people put in their gardens. It is like a rock that has, it's heavier, um, but it's still got holes in it, the air pocket. So it's again, um, a cooling lava stone or lots of people just call that volcanic rock. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make some Mars bar slice. And we're gonna have a look at two different types of rocks doing uh, this little cooking experiment. I would have liked to have done this with you at school. I was really looking forward to it because there's nothing better in living green than eating. Um, so today I've got some igneous rocks. Um, and these igneous rocks are cut up Mars bars. Um, and you can see that they've got well, no, they might not be igneous rocks yet. They might be like a um, uh, like a sedimentary rock now because you can see the layers. We're going to talk about the layers soon. So these sedimentary rocks are underneath the ground. They're deep inside the Earth's crust or probably mantle. They're, uh, so they're getting super hot. And so over millions of years, they've moved down. And they're now in a really hot spot. So I'm going to put my sedimentary rocks into here and we are going to melt them into magma. I know that you love magma. Um, so I've got four Mars bars that I've chopped up. I'm going to pop them in there. I am going to put 50 grams of butter in with that and I'm going to also put a tablespoon of golden syrup. And I'm going to be back in a minute to show you what that looks like. So here we go. We're going to melt all of this together so that we get some yummy magma. Okay, so here's our lovely, yummy, molten rock magma, which is underneath our Earth's surface. So if it stays underneath the Earth's surface, it's called magma. But if it comes out of a volcano... Um, then it is called lava. So I am going to um, use my magma and then I'm going to show you another video that talks about sedimentary rocks. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. 